never been to Singapore, I've never been anywhere like that in my life. I've been to Sri Lanka, that's the furthest I've ever been. Afar, on a very long flight, 18 hours, had to stop in Dubai. Worst airport I've ever been in. Got nine pound a bottle of water. It's like a casino. Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Hass, and welcome back to Sunday Sessions. Today we are making chicken satay and peanut sauce. Um, I don't know about you lot, but when I order Chinese food, yeah, I always get the orders for two, but for one, you get me? So like, I order my Chinese food, and it always comes with chicken satay and this mysterious brown sauce. And I delved in, I had a little research, had a little look. Nowhere near traditional, but I'm trying to keep it to that part of the world, not bastardise it, do you know what I mean? So. We are going to start off by marinating the chicken. I've asked my butcher kindly to debone a finer leg for me, right? So I like to use fires and legs for dishes like this because they carry more flavour. I like the darker meat. And for me, doing this with a chicken breast is a, it's risky. Do you know what I mean? To get this right with a chicken breast, plus fires and legs are cheaper and they're more forgiving. We can take this a little bit over the edge and not worry about it being fucking dry as a nun's gonna, but we're gonna have to take that one out. Dry as a nun is what we're gonna say. Um, so I'm just gonna split them, and then all I'm looking for is little bite sized pieces, right? Like so. And then each bit into that. That one can do a two. This one can go into three bits. Basically, what we want to do is we want to keep it as uniform as possible so that we know that when we put our sticks on, that if the chicken's the same size, they cook at the same times, right? So we haven't got one bit that's cooked beautifully and another bit that's cooked as shit because one bit's bigger than the other. Now, I'm keeping the skin on. Traditionally, it's served without skin, but I'm going to try to skewer it in a way that the skin's always either facing the fire or facing upwards when we turn it over because, for me, the skin's what's going to give us... One is a different texture, and two is it's going to allow us to create smoke and fire without adding helicopters out. That's actually a private helicopter, not even a police one. Rich bastard. Um, it's going to allow us to create smoke and flavor, right? So I often look at how people grill, always go back to what I know and what, what Camille's taught me. So skin equals fat equals drip equals flavor, right? Look, so I know I'm mishmashing two parts of the world, right? But I recently went to a yakitori restaurant and had shit on sticks. Um, and there was one that was chicken fire and spring onion. And I like the idea of having a charred bit of spring onion in between, right? So you've got like a, a sweetness. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to chop and top and tail this spring onion. I'll keep the greens for garnish. And obviously there's not going to be spring onion in between each one, but we can do like every other one or every third one. Yeah, that'll do. These can go into the bowl. Spring onions, chicken, chopped the same way. And then we're gonna move into aromat. So here I've got two sticks of lemongrass. And yes, I know I'm cho cho chopping all of this on the board that I've chopped the chicken on, but it's all going into the chicken marinade, isn't it? So, and I've got my board underneath, so don't fucking get at me. I'm gonna bruise up your lemongrass and basically, when you bash it about, you can see which part of it's edible. You see this like strawy bit in the middle? So I'm just like circling out. That's our edible bit. That's the bit that's gonna go into our marinade. All of this inside that smells like lemon sherbet. All of that in there. Beautiful lemongrass. Any tougher leaves on the outside, as it's a marinade, doesn't matter. But for some recipes, you're gonna to wanna to peel back as much as possible just to get the lemongrass flavor out. So there's two sticks of lemongrass, two chicken fires, Three spring onions, all going in, right? I'm going nice and fine. I want every piece to have the ability to have a little bit of lemongrass in it, right? Then I've got one, two, I've got four cloves of garlic. I'm just gonna slice up and I'm gonna go bird's eye chilies next. Look at that one, little hus. Two, three, five, six bird's eye chilies. I'm just going to cut into rounds and then I'm going to run my knife over them with the garlic. Don't want any big bits. If we've got big bits, they're going to have the ability to, to cash and burn. So we kind of want to paste this 
just so that it can spread and everything can be uniform and it all cooks at the same time. Cool. Like so. Choppy choppy. Yeah? Nothing special is what it is. This is going to go in to our chicken. Now we're going to add some dry spices. In here, a teaspoon of ground cumin, a teaspoon of ground coriander, and half a teaspoon of turmeric. See, si, pardon. See. Si. Sweet soy territory. So this is ketchup manis. Um, soy sauce reduced down, sugar added to it. So it's got a sweeter background. We have to be careful with this shit because if our flame's too high, this will caramelize too quickly. So, una, dos. Dos spunas, por favor. I'm then gonna go with a little bit of fish sauce. Una, dos. Tres. Three tablespoons of fish sauce. Um, and then I want to cut it with a little bit of sesame oil. Right? I feel like sesame oil, we don't often cook with, it's more like an at the end, but I just want to put some lube in it. Two tablespoons of sesame oil, right? And then what we're going to do, I don't recommend mixing anything that you've chopped with skin on with a spoon, right? Because it all just wraps around your spoon, the skin comes off. I'm going to do it gently, gently with my hand. So look, I've mixed this, mixed it all together. Now, I marinated one yesterday. Same shit, everything's in here. But I just wanted the marinade to have the opportunity to sit overnight, penetrate, be nice and delicious, right? So look, beautiful color, it's all a rosemary. All we're gonna do is thread this onto bamboo skewers. Now, I've slated bamboo skewers a lot in my life. Um, I'm doing this for aesthetic. I wanna be able to pick one up and eat it without using a charcoal, without using a metal skewer. Um, if at any point during this recipe, bamboo skewers suddenly change into metal, it's because I fucked it and they burnt and I told you so, right? So, I'm gonna put this to one side and I'm gonna wash my hands and then we're gonna move on to satay sauce. Chicken's marinating. Let it marinate anywhere between one hour and two days. The longer you leave it, the better it's gonna get. Short notice, it's gonna be delicious, but it could be better, right? Um, so, satay sauce. Now, I wanna to talk to you about the importance of buying your own peanuts and roasting them. So, you're gonna buy blanched peanuts, raw, unsalted. You're then gonna roast them in the oven, gas mark free, for about 45 minutes until they're this dark, yeah? Until they're tanned and brown, about 160 degrees. Um, don't go any darker than this. Also, do not blitz them until they're cold. This plate's still pretty hot. If I was to blitz them now, the oils would come out and we turn it into peanut butter. You need to let them cool down, then blitz them, so you can make this crushed peanut, I guess. Crushed peanut? You don't want big pieces of peanut running through the satay. You want background noise of peanut, right? So, let them cool down. I broke mine in a pestle and mortar just because I feel like there's more control and plus my blender's shit. But that's them, 300 grams. Now, we're gonna move into making the base ingredients for the satay sauce. So here, two, I have six, six shallots. Now, I wanna go fine dice on these. One, because I want them to cook quickly, and two, I, I, I don't want big bits of fucking shallot running through our satay sauce. And take the skin off with the first layer of the shallot, right? Like so. First layer just doesn't cook as well as the rest of it. Now, if you worked in a Michelin star restaurant, you take all of this, all of these bits, you dehydrate them and you blitz them and make a shallot salt. But we ain't got fucking time for that. No one cares. Put them in a compost or put them in a bin. Yeah? Stop running out of your mouth. Shallots done. Now, let's do some lemongrass. Again, the same way. Take all of this top bit in, off, bottom, off, and then give it the bruise up. Again for this one as 
song got loads. Like so, and then just a nice dice. Uh, it's hot, fucking, one minute it's raining, the next fucking minute you're shooting a summer holiday video. Shallot's done, lemongrass is done, let's move on to garlic. I've got six cloves of garlic here, yeah? I'm just gonna slice and then into a fine dice. Just some bird's eyes. Two, four. I'm gonna go six. The easiest way I find is if you take a bird's eye chili, take his little hat off, and then you don't lose any of it. Don't, don't cut the tops off, just pull their hats off, and you're left with the chili in its entirety. This stuff's gonna go in stages. I treat all of my cooking as if I was cooking a ragu, or the way that I was taught is traditionally Italian. So. Although I've chopped all of this, it doesn't mean it's all going in the pan at once. I feel like a lot of people just chop shit, put it all in at once and hope for the best. But everything has a different cooking time to release its natural sugars or to develop in flavor. So we need to do it stage by stage. By stage. So that's all our chopping shit done. I'm gonna get this pan on. I've got some peanut oil, not essential, but I felt like we were doing a, a satay and peanut sauce. Um, so why not use? Fucking weird, this thing. Why not use some peanut oil? Peanut oil in. First thing that's gonna go in is our shallots and our lemongrass. Those things both need time to bring sweetness out. We're gonna get all of our sweetness in the entire dipping sauce from shallots and then a little hint of sugar at the end. I don't want a massive heat. We want to slowly, slowly cook this, right? Oh. We want to go soft and translucent. So like I've said a million times, as soon as onions touch the pan, we need to be thinking about salt, right? Salt's going to help draw out the moisture, break the onions down and let them cook quicker. If you get colour on your onions and your peanuts are too dark, you've gone bitter on bitter. If we don't get colour in our onions and we get the right sweetness and our peanuts are ever so slightly bitter, we get away with it. It's all about layering flavour, right? Our onions have changed colour. They're not brown, but they're soft and translucent. We can go in with our garlic and our chilli. Now, these two, we do not want to fucking get any colour on, yeah? We want our garlic to stay light and aromatic, and I want, want our chilies to release all of their fucking... Wow, really? Bruv, sorry about that. Um, so, chilli and garlic in next. Now, we want our chilli to be allowed to bleed out all of its heat, and our garlic just to stay nice, sweet, and aromatic, right? No fucking color. Do not get any color on this. Right, so we're gonna go in with some sambal, yeah? Um, this has just got like vinegar, sugar, garlic, chili, onions. This is just a flavor boost, yeah? We can make our own sambal, but I ain't got the fucking all day in it. Sambal in. my eyes, it's in my eyes. It's actually in my eye. Sambal's in. Sambal is very popular being served on the side of stuff. I've just used it to make this a quicker and easier recipe. Sambal's fried off, and add in our peanuts. We wanna to toast our peanuts off, but our peanuts are also gonna suck up all the moisture from this pan, right? Bless me. <laughs> this is where we can control uh, the colour of our satay. 
Okay, if we can still take it a tiny bit darker here, we should, right? So now, I'm going to go in with like three quarters of a tin of coconut milk. Now, we want the coconut milk fully reduce and evaporate. You can see it's turning into a better colour, it's getting nice and dark. Two tablespoons, ketchup mayonnaise, one, two. So that's salty and sweet, right? With a teaspoon of sugar. And now, I'm gonna take it inside and blitz it. I'm gonna give it one quick wise. I don't want it to turn into a puree, but I just wanna make sure that it's more uniform. At the minute, it kind of feels like a peanut curry and I wanna turn it into like a peanut sauce, right? So, take it in and give it a waz. Up all night doing fucking prep and then the one you make on a day is better than the one you've got. Sauce is blitzed. We'll show you it later. Now, let's move into skewering, right? So what I want to do is like weave these bits of chicken on, right? Weave. Just so that when they move, they stay flat. We're cooking over a grill, so we're not cooking exposed like a mangal, but I still want to make sure that the chicken doesn't move around and flop about the place. Now, hopefully these wooden skewers don't fuck up on us. And if they do, I'm 100% blaming the utensils. Cheeky bit of spring onion. So I'm gonna do, I'd say six pieces of chicken per skewer. Making sure they're spaced out enough so that the spring onion is visible. Don't want any of these dangly bits. So just weave it back on. And then top it. Another piece. As soon as the ice, as soon as the weather gets nice, then man are all like, come on in! Parked up in the parks. Big peas in ice cream though. Huge peas. Like, I always look at that guy on the South Bank and I'm like, you must make a killing on a daily. Right, satay skewered up, and then we're gonna go onto the grill. Oh, they smell nice. Right, so we're just gonna Got a nice casual four count, low and slow. Let them do their things. Every so often we'll give them a little turn. But there's no rushing and stuff like this. Just enjoy your moment.
Yeah, it's just us. Uh, satay chicken. All right, cool. All right, so we're back. Look at this. Beautiful, slightly crispy, smoky, sticky, delicious, secret spring onion that's cooked all the way through. Spin it like a donna. Nice, right, now let's garnish. So, got a nice little tray. I'm gonna plonk on our satay sauce. I'm just gonna give it a little smear. But then, I'm gonna sit these fucking beautiful sticks on our sauce. We've got some extra peanuts, a couple of diced chilies, a little cooling cucumber corner. Nice wedge of lime. And some crispy herbs. Buff! I'm not even eating it yet. I'm like, yeah, cool, sick. Put it in my fucking mouth. How can I how can I give you transfer you all my money? squash it's lying all over everything I want a bit on the cucumber as well just make sure everything gets hit with a little bit of acid and then I'm going to take the pointy end off of the skewer because if you try to put that in your mouth I still can't do it horrible fucking butters you don't want this can I just say, that is fucking delicious, man. Um, me and George were talking off camera that we don't really do much Asian barbecue. And these are fucking great, man. Like tender bits of chicken. Just want to show you. Look at how fucking how moist it is, bruv. Cook it nice and slow. Good chew. Some bits of skin that are crispy, some aren't. The peanut sauce just brings everything together. It's like an earthiness. Acid, heat from chilies. It's just fucking good. Put something on a stick, make a sauce, give me a fresh dressing, garnish, and I'm good, man. Fantastic. Totally eatable. A little texture from the fresh peanut on top. It's just delicious on a beautiful day like this, man. Glass of white wine. Just chilling with your loved ones. Make a little satay. It's a piece of piss. Made a peanut sauce, man. I ate some chicken, put it on skewers and grilled it. I could eat 12 of them. Let it pick up all the peanut sauce. Put a couple of chilies on it. A little bit of coriander. Better than your favourite chef. <laughs> um, nah, man. Honestly, marinate for as long as po possible. Grill low and slow, especially with a chicken fire or a drumstick. Really low, really slow, and just let it tick along. Um, no rush rush. You might be going to a party, pre-marinate it, put it all into little Tupperwares, come to someone's house with a, with a box full of goodies and be like, yo, look what I made, satay. I beg you cook this for me, done. Thanks for watching. Potato.
Jacob House Films. Can you say films? Film. Films. Films.